Hey, welcome back to Tig Time. I'm Mr. Tig. Today we're going to show you a sample of 304 stainless. And this particular sample is just a small piece of stainless, but we're going to show you a corner joint, an outside corner joint. It's going to be autogenous, and we're going to put it to this, um, this little insignia here. And I want to do a shout out to Chip Cable. Uh, we, we took some of these from your um, Fabtech show, and uh, I just want to give you my appreciation up front. Anyway, we're going to do a corner joint, autogenous, and we're going to do it two different ways. We're going to do one, it's all hand welded on this little fixture, and we're going to have no pulsing in it whatsoever. Uh, so we're going to be running at about 50 amps. We're going to run a, a voltage or a real tight arc, about 9 to 12 volts. Uh, and then we're going to use 1 16th diameter tungsten, 2% thoriated. And just keep in mind, this material melts at 2600 degrees Fahrenheit. So our travel speed is going to be fairly fast. We're going to be running about 8 inches a minute. Now, once we do the one sample, I'm going to turn the pulser on this machine and kind of show you why you would put pulse into it. And uh, you'll see the results. But basically, the results show up that you get a certain pattern. Um, does it help the weld any, any more, any less? And the reality, when you're doing 304 stainless, when you put pulse in there, what you get is what I call a wow factor, meaning that it just it looks better. It just has a ripple effect, and, uh, and guys put in pulsing for all different types of reasons. Our machine happens to have pulsing built in, but you'll see guys that have machines that uh, don't have pulsing at all, and you'll see them throttle the, uh, the foot control and get the same results. So uh, I'm going to put all my safety gear on, get ready. I'll do the first sample, DC straight polarity, pointed tungsten at just 50 amps. This material is uh, only about 50 thousandths, maybe maybe as high as 16 gauge, but uh, 50 amps is adequate for this corner joint. And I get to the end of the weld, hold the gas over it for five or six seconds, and finished. Yeah, I'm only running about one pulse per second. And like I say, you can, you can create your own patterns. But one pulse per second has a background current of about 35 amps. So I'm bouncing from 50 to 35 amps. Now, because I am pulsing, it actually creates a little slower travel speed. And as I get to the end, do the same thing. I back off amperage, post flow for about five to six seconds, and we have a well. Okay, so let's just recap the two samples that I did. Both of them are absolutely fine. Structurally, they're fine. It's 304 L stainless steel. Now, this sample right here, I did with absolutely no pulsing at all. I used 50 amps. Travel speed was about 8 inches a minute. And you can see that it's a smooth weld. It comes out a little bit darker. Now, this sample right here, I turned the pulser on. I, I pulsed at 1 pulse per second. Uh, the background current was 35, so I went from 50 to 35, back and forth, back and forth. And you can see that it gives some fantastic results. Uh, it puts a ripple effect in there, and it actually gives you a little bit better color. So you can choose. You can decide which works for you the best. Thanks for watching Tig Time. I'm Mr. Tig.